Hi everyone, I'm very excited about this talk. My name is Ahmad Al Kabra. I've been with Input Output since 2019. I'm currently shaping the Hydra strategy, which is a layer two solution built on Cardano and driving new use cases that will be made possible with Hydra to drive mass adoption. Cardano is great, Hydra makes it better. We're continuously striving to make the world better in this space and creating opportunities as we evolve the financial operating system. So why does scalability matter? And this is gonna be the theme of this presentation. Blockchain is growing fast, but it's still in its infancy at the macro level. Crypto adoption grew by over 900% during the past year. We are seeing now fees and latency increase and high fees on the main chain impacts overall market growth. It impacts use cases such as DeFi, decentralized exchanges, NFTs, and many more. This discourages merchants and governments from participating. The high latency, high fees on main chain discourages businesses and uh, from conducting transactions on the main chain. Developers and enterprises are negatively impacted, facing scalability issues, platform performance, and cost challenges result in bad user experiences and churn. So what we're seeing are, is dApps are on the move. So we're seeing transactions from the Bitcoin main chain, for example, are moving to Lightning which is a layer two scalability solution on Bitcoin. We're also seeing migration of dApps from Ethereum to other layer ones, including Cardano and, and many layer twos. Why? Because transaction fees and latency matter. It's a key to competitive consideration and adoption. So we want to make Cardano future-proof. And in simple terms, Hydra's vision and mission is to make Cardano more scalable. Why are we building Hydra? Because we want to continue to support growth and adoption of Cardano. We want to make Cardano more attractive to use and more valuable. How, how, how will Hydra do it? We want to be able to increase the speed of transactions and be able to ensure that transaction fears, fees are near zero, thus enabling many applications and many use cases at scale. So what are we building? Based on IUG research, we're, building, we're currently building a reference implementation of the Hydra protocol, protocol as a layer two solution on Cardano, which provides scalability with the same level of security as Cardano. Hydra makes Cardano's network better, faster, and cheaper to use. And I'll be highlighting some benefits here, starting with high scalability, which is a critical key component for mass adoption. It enables the dApps to scale off-chain. Instant transactions. So with the very low latency, we're talking sub-second transactions with Hydra. Near zero transaction fees. There is no base fee transaction fee in Hydra as compared to main chain. And this makes many use cases economically feasible, especially at scale. It enables microtransaction output. Instead of the one ADA minimum on main chain, we can now go down to Lovelaces, which are sub pennies. And this is critical for micropayments, such as loyalty, tipping, and other use cases that require this microtransactions. Another one is minimal storage. Storage on the main chain is increasing and will continue to increase. And after Plutus release, it is expected to grow even faster. Hydra mix, uh, make, make, makes it very economically and storage friendly. It removes the storage capacity overhead on the main chain as well. All the necessary computations, transactions that hap happen off chain is short lived 
and doesn't move to the main chain only the final settlement goes to the main chain HADR also offers uh, uh, um, the one key benefit is isomorphic which means it's highly compatible with Cardano you're able to take any Cardano UTXO into Hydra and it offers the same capabilities and functionalities from the main chain to Hydra it also inherits the same transaction validation rules and script execution which can be used on-chain and off-chain. So Hadra makes Cardano better, faster, and cheaper. Again, it's highly scalable, instant transactions, near zero fees, microtransaction output, minimal storage, and is isomorphic. Hydra's target segment are any entities or organizations that need blockchain scalability. Any organization, any developer, any startups that wants to make their products usable and scalable. Start with the, kind of the, some of the top use cases, payments and micropayments, for example, where countries and citizens can participate in, in seamless scalable payments. Even enterprises and B2B sector can participate in that micropayments we're talking about streaming content tipping loyalty or the concept of cashback can happen seamlessly and scalable on hydra telecom top-ups roaming settlement between intercarriers is also a key use case another category is the gaming sector where we can have in-game purchases rewards NFTs within a game, all scalable, seamlessly at very low cost. And then other top use cases are ReFi, where we're talking about real world, real world use cases, such as decentralized IDs or financing for, for the average people, for common people, especially in places in developing nations or developing continents, geographies. We have also use cases around DeFi, decentralized exchanges that can utilize Hydra, where on-ramps, off-ramps, trading all happen kind of with low to minimal fees. We have a well-versed team of researchers and engineers behind Hydra. We started with the head protocol, and uh, you'll see a demo and a technical preview in the technical talk, which I encourage you to attend. But essentially, at a, a, to, at a high level, the head protocol enable a set of participants to transact instantly and as many times through a multi-party state channel. You're able to run smart contracts or payments, transactions off-chain. So with that, to recap, Hydra aims to make it frictionless and scalable to onboard a billion users onto Cardano. We encourage you to come build with us if you're a business, a startup, a developer, and have a relevant use case. Feel free to reach out to us. We're, we're very motivated and excited about this new technology. And with that, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the team, and be sure to attend the technical talk after this one. Thank you.